Hey everyone, Mitch here. Welcome back to this tutorial series on using Owlbear Rodeo. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the drawing tools. All right, let's get straight into it. Sometimes when using Owlbear Rodeo, you may want to highlight something to your players or draw the effect of a spell on a map or even create a map on the fly. To do these things, you can use the drawing tool. To access the drawing tool, you can simply select this icon in the toolbar here. The drawing tool has a few modes, so let's break them down. The first option we have is the brush tool. This lets us draw freeform lines. This can be useful for planning out things like battle tactics, or for simply calling attention to certain areas of the map. The next option is the paint tool. This lets us draw freeform shapes like this. This can be useful for highlighting certain areas of the map. The next set of tools allow us to draw predefined shapes. The first tool is the line tool. This lets us draw straight lines. And one thing to notice here is that as we draw this line here, it will snap straight to the grid to make it easier to make the lines uh, vertical, horizontal, or even diagonal. A good use case for this is if you want to draw out uh, simple walls for your map if you're creating a map on the fly, or things like that. Next, we have the rectangle tool. This lets us draw uh, squares or rectangles that again snap to the grid. This can be good for showing area of effect spells like a thunder wave or something like that. The next is a circle tool. This lets us draw a circle at the center in which we select. I use this for things like a fireball spell to see how many enemies are affected by it. The last drawing tool we have is the triangle tool. This lets us draw cone area of effect shapes. This can be really useful for things like a dragon's breath or something like that. Okay, well now let's look at colouring the drawing, so that poisonous cloud can really look deadly. To do this, you can click the colour button here in the top left, and then pick your colour from one of the options below. So here I can pick the green, and now when I draw a circle again, it'll take on that green colour. The next option I want to cover is the blending toggle here. Clicking this will disable the blending, and this will allow us to draw more solid shapes. You can see how now the shape has no transparency to it. We can then re-enable this to draw transparent objects once more. Once we're done with the drawing, we can erase shapes by clicking the erase icon here, and then by either clicking a shape or simply dragging over them to delete them as a group. If you wish, you can also erase all the shapes by clicking the erase all button here. If we make a mistake, we can simply click the undo or redo buttons here. Or there are shortcuts here, so we can either control Z to undo or Control shift z to redo. And with that, we are at the end of this video. I hope it has been helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and we'll try our best to answer them.